Hello everyone uh, from Alaska. It's AK Toys and today I picked up a package at the post office that came in from China um, and today we're going to open it up and see what's inside of it. Uh, they sure do wrap these things up real funny. It's like some kind of soft padding underneath just a ton of wrapped you know around and around plastic tape um, but you know we will uh, take care of that by getting into it here I don't really quite know what side to open it on so let's just poke a little hole kind of take a look and see what is in there oh I do believe this is a little 250 racer I ordered from China uh, from Yixing. Uh Yixing, E-A-C-H-I-N-E. I'm not quite sure how people say that. Uh, this is one of the racers I decided to pick up I was curious about. It's uh, supposed to be pretty fast and cheap. And fast and cheap seem to work good because fast seems to... Uh, be more susceptible to crash and crash gets expensive so I think we need to sharpen our little box opener here so what's inside all of the tape and foam let's get rid of this little bit crunched on the corners I think you know I could have packaged this probably a little better it's come a long long way so let's uh, let's open it up and see what's inside oh good see more foam and Yixing Racer 250 we got a little uh, owner's manual it's got some pictures pictures are always good because you know Chinese manuals and instructions aren't always real clear so doesn't really look like there's a lot of information in here so we'll set that aside and see what's in the box We'll get rid of the box. So, that's what we got on one side. That's what we got on the other side. Doesn't come apart. Looks like this little uh, transmitter cover. And we've got the little TX antenna for the drone comes with a 3 cell 1500 milliamp lipo battery got the standard kind of drone connector on it this seems a bit different I uh, haven't seen a lot of these for the balance plug put that aside and uh, sorry, I'm sorry getting a drink of water here. Don't mind the uh, arm brace thing here. I've got a reoccurring nerve injury that's been bugging the hell out of me lately. Um, got some props. Pull them out of there. Looks like two sets of props. So we've got uh, four of each. So that'll give us two sets. I'll probably go with uh, something I already pre-ordered, which is... Dow prop, three blades, quicker turning. Got them in purple and I got them in black. These are supposed to be pretty damn tough too. And let's see, let's pull this out of here. Comes with a little charger, which is Lots of luck getting that out of there. I don't think I'll be using that. I'll just use my uh, 
Onyx balance charger. I hate waiting three hours to charge a battery. Let's check out this little transmitter. Pretty thin. Got a good feel to it though. Wonder if the I hate the short sticks. Oh yeah, so see these are adjustable. I like to bring the sticks way up as far as possible and lock them in. Because I am not a thumb flyer. I fly with finger thumb. Switches all feel pretty good and solid on it. For uh, yeah, This is a pretty cheap economy race copter. Pretty nice little controller. Probably have to take this apart and mod the antenna. Yeah, like that range. Comes with a set of batteries. Like I'll trust those. Those are going right in the trash. And comes with a Yixing neck strap. Like neck straps. Always fly with neck strap. And what do we got here? Strap for the battery and an Allen tool. And looks like a tiny, almost looks like carbon fiber. And I believe that is the wrench for the prop hubs for the locking nuts. Now let's try to pull this thing out of here. Oh, come on, baby, you can do it. Get on out of there. All right. And that's it for that and let's just see what we got going on here nice it's got a little perch for uh, you know an action cam uh, which I just got a new run cam that I'm gonna stick right here uh, for getting some better video this comes with a little camera I think this is a uh, thousand TVL camera on this thing which is pretty good and these are your little front LEDs got your little motors with uh, the little locking hubs for the props are on top of them antenna goes right here battery plugs in here I believe this does have OSD um, LED light bar on the back that I believe you can change colors on and looking inside of it pretty simple which i like simple and easy to repair modular everything's modular so when you break it and crash it you can just replace the parts you need i did pick up some red arms already i like the red i don't know why so when i break that and i believe the camera is oh yeah the camera is adjustable so you can pitch it back because boy you got to really pitch these cameras back uh, when you're in forward flight now this little racer this 250 racer um, this does not have the angled motors that are tilted forward like on a lot of the newer ones I'm not real hip on those yet maybe that's something we'll kind of grow into but uh, boy, these little antennas look like you can definitely chop them off with the props. Let's see what's underneath here. Some kind of a felt thing. It's got some little foot landings. The SCs are uh, just held in with zip ties. I like that. That seems pretty simple. Um, pretty good looking solder mounts in there actually. The uh, the workmanship of this thing doesn't actually look that bad for being such a cheap quadcopter. Um, this basic setup uh, you can get for around 200 bucks, and you know if you just crash this unit and you don't want to repair it, um, you can get these as a uh, like a bind and fly just to replace the whole unit for about 129 a piece, as I see from I think Banggood. Banggood.com people, they are your friends for getting cheap Chinese stuff. But anyway, um, thanks for joining me today on my little unboxing video of the Yixing 250 Racer. So, 
maybe this might be something you're curious about getting and now you know what you get inside the box everybody fly safe out there ak toys up here and i will catch you next time